Welcome back, everyone, to another... Or, to the... Not another. Welcome back to the Grand Finals of the Lobster Roll Series Week 9. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we also have Google Frog here because I like having Google Frog here because he's great for analysis. So, we are going to be on the Grand Finals. We have the map bands coming in. And the map bands are... Actually... Zed, the map scary hands. Lion, Sapphire. Thank you. Yes. And there we go. Perfect. And Ravage. So we're not having Ravage for the first round of the Grand Finals. This is, of course, best of three. And whoever wins will not be able to pick the map in game three that they won this time. And it could reset if God A wins the first best of three. Yeah. Well, let's see how that goes. Yeah, so that's that's a good point because gold is coming from the losers bracket, and that is that is exactly it. So, Golda is Golda is gonna get the pick. I think. No, wait, no, wait, no. Randy gets the pick because Randy's lower seed. So, Rand even though Randy's in the winner's side of the bracket. Well, anyhow, the oh, that makes it's a series. Yeah, that's some sense. Vantage. Vantage. Yay! I like Vantage. I think out of the pool of mass vantage is my favorite. Maybe Scaryland. Actually, Scaryland then Vantage, then Ravaged. Those are my three favorite maps in this pool, so I'm really happy to see them. Particularly Vantage and Scaryland, because Ravaged feels kind of solved, but Vantage and Scaryland had a lot more, I think, going for them. Yeah, Ravaged has quite a few spots where spiders have nice cliffs. Yeah. Spiders would be pretty good with fear of those. Well, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you bring a StarCraft map into 0k, a StarCraft game which has, like, three units in the entire game that can scale cliffs versus 0k, yeah. which has an Very entire factor dedicated well. to that. Yeah, which, again, in, in 0k, there's a lot of ways of subverting choke points. Also, the game still be choke an interesting map. It hasn't not it has not been pure spider. Although I guess spider are now a bit more startable with Venom being yeah. more generalist. Yeah, that's that's clearly been where it's been coming in. Which is probably good overall, but not so much for Ravaged. I mean that's sort of the thing, I guess it's just I guess it's kind of an unfortunate element of the way that the maps are, because like unfortunately, map making tools for zero K aren't super mature. I know there was something that that guy up was working on the springboard which was it was it was really cool and it works reasonably well but it doesn't seem to be as well supported like you know you can't just like open up springboard from inside jobby or yeah easily it's, use. Got it's not like complete installing dependencies and stuff yeah it exactly it's sort of more like a, a tool than a user facing thing yeah so we've got randy eh, yeah so if it were going into rover which you sort of expect Seen him play Rover here pretty well. Yep. Well, Rover is exactly what I would expect in this map. It's, I mean, the hills are a thing, but honestly, every time I've seen this map, we see Rovers. Sometimes we see Rover and Hover, sometimes Rover and Cloaky, but almost always Rovers. Someone's playing Rovers. Yeah, it was quite a good map for them, I think. I agree. We saw him do his 10 second factory pause, which I think, yeah, I think that's okay. Gives Raiders a bit more time to hit the enemy base. I mean, that is Randy's thing. So now we have two glaves, three two, glaives. Three, you know, two glaives but again. Start in melee range. One of them does at least. Yep. Scorcher is able to take out two of them. 
Metal structure down. The conjurer is able to save itself, at least. Cutting it fine. Yeah, the conjurer can find a safety on the cliff. And now there should be enough glaives. Gorda won't lose too much more. This raid is over. But... Uh, still two metal extractors and a few glaives, though the I think the reclaim will make up for it. So well, yeah, it makes up eventually, for it. Eventually, but it costs build power to do a reclaim. That's a good point. That does give Randy some time. This conjurer could hang around here and get the 200 metal and reclaim and rebuild the extractors, but then the conjurer wouldn't be doing other stuff. Well, at any rate... Conjurer reclaim now versus metal extractors earlier. For a whole expansion line. That's true. Randy's got a turret in his base. He doesn't really want that to happen to him. Two turrets, actually. One defending the wind. I understandable against cloakies. Because, like, that's safe against vehicles. But, no, cloakbots can just take it out. But Gotta mm -hmm. is just going... Commander jumped all the way up there to take this pair of mechs as fast as possible. Yeah, at the same time, though, Randy... Oh, cut, oh, they're fine. They're cutting it a bit close with the letting the Glaives get to the Masons, but Scorchers are in position. That's two dead Glaives and no dead Scorchers. There are two Masons. If he gets really worried, they can make a turret pretty quickly. That's true. It'll be seven-second turret. Or not seven-second. Hang on. Nine-second. Nine-second, yes, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't... Ah. Yeah, nine-second turret. I got the health and cost confused. And divided by 10 somewhere along the way. Look, I've oh, been told not to do math on nice. stream. There's a reason why. Glaze are finding a nice angle with that cliff, though. Uh, yep, and yeah. there's that Lotus down. Thanks to a weird FOV. A bit of hackiness, but so it goes. Still, those Scorch reinforcements are able to come in, try to save the Masons. That's the key thing. If those Masons go down, Gorda will have... Possibly an insurmountable advantage when it comes to expansion potential. But right now, the Masons are but still now doing he's okay. got a bunch of Proclaim. Now they've got, yeah, exactly, got a bunch of Proclaim. Masons in the main base should be able to set up to use that Reclaim. Honestly, build two Caretakers. Should be fine. Also, he's pushing right in. God is put. Sorry, Randy is pushing right to the middle. God is just expanding with his commander as fast as he can. Yeah, and they're both really sending Glaze one at a time. The different styles of expansion. More commander aggression and versus just rapid expansion. And also, Gorda cannot go in with lone glaze around the map. Randy has locked that out. Oh, I like this. No, the Mason's coming back to base. Cool. So Randy's making absolutely sure they're not going to be losing any metal to excess. I like that. I always like to see that. Proper use of assist build. It's kind of... It's a backline thing that's not super flashy, but it is really useful when you have people... There's so many games where I've casted where you have someone having an economic advantage, but I say, well, they're accessing. They're not putting it in production. That it. economic advantage is... Yeah, it's a total waste. So it's always nice to see when players take full advantage yeah. of the economic advantage they get. Expect Randy to handle that. Oh, of course, and that's that's one of the great things uh, about casting them. finding an angle here. One spot not defended by Lotuses. Like, that was, that was it. The one mech that's not defended by Lotuses. This Lotus could die to these glaze from the south and glaze from the north. Yep, got a fighting in there. Actually not using mm, the south ones. Yeah, it's... No, the Lotus five, will five die. easily kill that. Same time, though... Over these fences. Same time, though, the commander coming in here. The commander does have no change to yep. any any real weapon, but at the same time, there's the Scorch just finishing off the glaze. One max dies. Two nano lathes, so the commander can produce quite rapidly. Yeah, they got what twenty build power, and it's or? got an armor, which just for sixteen just for armor, sixteen build power. Well, I mean, we have a frontline commander, frontline recon commander that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a nice choice. So yeah, now got his slow, got his fast army has to somehow deal with this slow push. Well, most of them are out of position. We see a little bit he over to the south. There's going to be trouble, so he's moving his commander right to Randy's base in the meantime. Yeah, but this is still... Oh, Randy's losing the one of the fencers, the though. Doing... Two fencers down. Scorchers back up. No fences coming in because the glaives in the back have been killing off the reinforcements. Oh, no, there's one fencer coming in. Yeah, but unfortunately but the scorcher goes down. Won't be enough. I don't know. Randy might be okay, though. 
Scorcher coming in here. The plate's down. Lotus is in position on the factory, keeping that locked down. Scorcher still staying up. It should be able to take the factory out. If it closes up the factory... Oh, but the... Ah, the death explosion kills it. Still, the Lotuses have that factory completely locked down. Scorcher's around the side to take it out. Golda's commander is coming around, but three or four Scorchers... Or four or Scorchers will kill it. It is morphing. It'll take about six Scorchers to kill it. But that's exactly what Randy will have. It is a recon commander. Does a machine gun? Yeah, auto repair machine gun. So he's definitely going for some commander fighting. But he's got some turrets as well. Oh, yeah, it's a nice staging point to get some reclaim. Yeah, I like it. I like it. God is definitely keeping themselves open. They don't have any other constructors, though. Oh, no, sorry, they have the one. They have the one conjure over to the south that could rebuild a factory under Randy's nose. He's just rebuilding expansion, which might not be the best thing to do now. I don't Randy's know, got what? Gorda sells oh, economy. Of reclaim there. Yeah, Gorda sells economy though. Machine gun armor and scorchers. The recon can't do commander much. for rapid expansion. Not really built for fighting into this. But he's going anyway. I mean, upgrading one more time. The jump happens. It's it's really risky. Those ro oh. Not the, sorry, it wasn't fencers, it's pickets, but either way, there is in fact a fencer. Not sure what this lotus is for. Scorchers can't reach this commander and fences don't care. I don't know. Fax switch maybe? The Lotus. Oof, I I mean, I don't know. Fax switch isn't something that can actually go up the ramp. Terraforming. There's options, I guess. Gordon's yeah, commander. Oh, they're flying real close to the sun right now. 200 health remains. He's going to take some risks because Randy has all the time with this reclaim. The That's factory. true. That is very true. Randy does have all the time in the world. Their main, main weakness right now is lack of energy, actually. Need to get more power oh, yeah. plants up. God, I just defeated that. So now he's got... Cluster he's bomb? Got cluster bomb. That's something. But also not a whole lot of health. Yeah. Oh, no, they're they're done. They've flown too close to the sun. Golda's commander is down. They have no way of rebuilding anything. And that is game one. Randy taking the advantage in the series. Gota still has a chance, but Randy really yeah. won that convincingly. Gota left his base very open. Didn't yeah. respect the, the push that could happen. No, and... Wasn't quite slowed down by Glaives enough. Because they had a very defensive two Mason expansion. Uh, yeah, that was actually really well played by Randy, just using the, gla using the Masons as a safe slope setup. Because now a lot of players, you'd, you'd spread Masons one... I mean, generally, you'd be spreading one one direction, one in the other direction, and the commander. But now Randy thought thought it through, realizing Glaive raiding would kill them if they did that. So, yeah, well played. Especially starting out with two Masons like that. That was a risky play, but they managed to make it pay off. Well, the two Mason expansion is quite good. As in, if you are expecting a lot of raiding. Yeah. Which is actually really cool, because I know a lot of people have... I've heard a lot of people talk about... Like the, actually, I've also mentioned a lot of this, so it feels like sometimes the game is a bit like Raider micro-focused, and that's a cool way of having a way to expand without having to necessarily out Raider micro your opponent. I mean, it's a bit of a slower expansion, but hey, it worked out. It was slow, it was steady, it paid off. And we're on to the yeah. me next map, which I forgot to switch back to the lobby to see what it would be. It is Ravaged. Okay, cool. So, Ravaged for map, map 2. If we go into map 3, Golda cannot pick... Sorry, Randy cannot pick Vantage. Yes. Yeah, Ravaged is totally bad, valid. So, we are on to Ravaged. And, shoot. I, I am terribly sorry. Again, I do not have any way of making sure this is not going to fail. So, this is Grand Finals, not Loser's Finals. Ignore the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, because that's not supposed to be ignored, but... Anyway, it's Grand Finals. We are in map... We are in game two of Grand Finals. Randy taking game one on a very strong slow push, and now Golda looking to contest that on game two as a spider mirror on Ravaged. Ah. 
All right. Oh, is this... Both expanding. Oh, no. No. With commanders out to the bottom three maxes. Yep. Just 0k is being a weirdo right now. Hopefully it's not stuttering too much. Anyhow, back to the game. Yeah, so commander... Oh, yeah. Both both players doing the same thing. Rapid commander expansion over to the north and south. Going a little bit faster with that, though. So go a little bit more aggressive on the energy expansion, too. I should have restarted this during the break. That was a mistake. Anyhow. Hmm. Streaming nonsense. Side. Just in a fleet so far to try and find somewhere and also to check when the other side is in to flee. Got a going for a plate. He really likes his plates. They allow you to produce a lot of units, but they don't allow you to produce one, one big unit, which may have been his downfall last game. Yeah. Maybe not last well I mean last game he must have just glaives anyway. Didn't even have a plate, but yes, that is... Oh, no, they did have a plate. What am I saying? They absolutely did have a plate. They just lost it quickly. Well, if it was a, if it was a caretaker, then his plate, it could have been maybe a quick knight. Right. So maybe yeah. you know, something might have helped. Yeah, but as it stands, it's a little bit... Oh, for Pete's sake, I... I'm feeling really stupid. I didn't restart the game. Sorry about the stuttering, everybody. Not much I can do about that. Anyhow, though, Randy, Randy at least managing to maintain strong defense. I mean, both, both players pretty well being unassailable. Despite Golda's best efforts on the fleas. Randy's That's... switched into... Well, he's gone into making some Venoms. Heck, Golda's gone into making a they Widow. Make... Yep, there's the Widow. Well, yeah, if you're playing the flea game, then a Widow can be the next obvious choice. That's true, yeah. Stun out. Randy's being quite Decent aggressive unit. with his commander. Gode has a little ring around his commander to stop Widows coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is that is Forgive. cute. Yeah. I should wish for the Wolver Spiders, uh, too, yeah, because they don't care Randy's... about terrain. <laughs> they just, they just yeah, keep terrain. Yeah, it makes a nice circle. Randy's commander is coming in to get stunned by that Widow. Sort of by itself. Oh, it might finish the Lotus in time. No, it doesn't. Oh, so not quite. One second all left. All by itself. Yeah, those fleas. Uh, it looks like it's going down. Yeah, 40 DPS. Venom's trying to save it. Oh no, Gold has got that micro properly. Ooh. Ooh, never mind. Oh, it survived. Nicely done, Randy. Saving that commander. There are enough still fleas tight. around, but. Yeah, oh. Oh no, no, that commander. It's got two seconds left. One second. And it's safe. Well, it's not safe, but it's able to defend itself at least. It could be re-widowed, but it now could, there's venoms around. It could. It could indeed. But the, yeah, the venoms and the lotus. Oh. So yeah, the venoms cutting off the retreat path. Yeah, and that was... Gorda's entire investment was was Widow Flea. So now the entire eastern side is essentially open for Randy to just take completely uncontested. Although that said, Gorda gets to take his side uncontested as well. Fair point. And they are not really doing so, though. Yeah, Actually, he's lost going the off to river. reclaim. It's weird. That might be... Yeah. Oh, never mind. I guess it was a, there was a misclick of some kind. <laughs> okay, there's Gorda's signature saltiness. I was wondering where that'd gone. I hadn't missed it. But it wasn't there. Oh, uh, that's okay. Well, throwing the towel. Well, he's with the widow not going off. It's yeah, that, that's true. That's true. But that's also that's also it. Randy takes it. Like that's that is game set and match. 
Randy wins the tournament 2-0. So, well done to Randy. Who basically won by... Well, they defended a Widow. They defended a Widow attack. And that won them the match. That won them the tournament. And that might actually put them over the edge as far as the rating. So the rating... Like, the thing is, this is kind of the last one for ratings. So... We'll see... I don't know if it'll update quickly enough. I know... I know Crow likes to update it very rapidly. I just don't know if it'll be in time. But... I'm curious what it'll be. Because... Like, ah, for what's next week. Winner. Hmm? There is no next week. Next week doesn't exist. This is the last week of everything. I think this was the last normal week, and there's one next this week. This is the last week. Yeah. I see. Yeah, there's, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. It's the last week. Yep. Finish on nine. That makes sense. Yes. Exactly. Because there's not going to be a week tomorrow. It just won't exist. Time's going to stop at the end of the day. Mm. I know. It had a good run. Yeah, I don't know if what's going on. Like, I, I really am not. I'm really not sure because Golda. I mean, Dregs had an early advantage right at the right out of the gate, but then unfortunately, the healthy just couldn't play. Randy was pulling up, but then Golda just came in and just rose up to first place really fast. But now I don't know what is honestly next. I mean, I think that this I think is. We'd have to look at the actual points. What's the point difference? Mm-hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Because again, this is from last week. This isn't this isn't quite up to date yet. Especially a steel blue might have actually managed to pull themselves up a bit as well by getting third place for yet another week. Also a 2-0 game difference on Golda might count for quite a bit for Randy's points. Man, Is that how it works? Check. I don't know. I think so. All right. There is... This is being updated right as we speak. So I'm going to keep it, keep going and just talking randomly about stuff until it's finally... It's finally done. Which will be... As soon as I'm told that it's done. All right, well, okay, so for those of you wondering about my normal casting schedule, I'm probably going to go back to doing the standard like, exhibition match games. I wasn't doing it before because I just, a lot of personal reasons, but mainly it was just I, I was, I had no energy kind of thing. So Lost Rules really great for helping me get back into this. So yeah, thank you very much, Crow, for hosting this. It's been really fun to cast. And if you have any replays you wanted to cast, like, just... Discord messages are the most reliable way of getting to me. Because I'm in the 0k Discord server, so you just... If you just DM me through that, that's the easiest way for me to find them. And also to make sure that I've got, like... I know that I've got them. Because, I mean, Twitch DMs kind of work. Don't use Twitter DMs, I'm never on Twitter. But Discord DMs are the most reliable. Actually... In-game DMs also work, because I'm on the 0k website all the time, or the forums all the time, and they show up there. So that's another good option. So yeah, Discord DMs or in-game DMs, those are the easiest way to contact me for replay requests. Alright. Actually, Google Frog, are you... Do you... I know you occasionally do some things. Are you? Do you have any plans for other videos that you might be doing? Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay. Yeah, it could be good to do some tutorials at some point. Yeah, because I know you've been doing a lot of those, and yours tend to be quite good, so... Wasn't sure if you had anything in mind. Man. Well, 
gotta say, I'm really happy that so many people signed up for these tournaments. Like, just week on week, on week to be to be clear, because it's not just the fact that it's... Okay, we have 17 people in this week, but we've had consistently at least, you know, 12 to 17 people, like 12 to 16 people, typically throughout the weeks. And it's really nice, like, it hasn't been you know, one big tournament at the beginning and, then everyone, and it sort of falls off and no one cares by the end, no. There's been a lot of interest, a lot of new people signing up every week, and, I mean, a consistent number of players every week. Yeah, well, this is a full bracket. Yeah, on top of that, this like today has been really amazingly popular. I think last week's 2v2 tournament, or not last week's, the week before, two weeks ago, the 2v2 tournament, I think that really helped out, just getting a lot of people yeah, that weren't already in. Yeah, that people as well. It was, and I think I, I'm noticing a few of them showed up for the 1v1s following, which I'm really happy to see. But yeah, it's just it's great to see that the tournament was growing rather than just a flash in the pan. I'm really happy to see that. Yeah, it's going really well. Uh, we'll see what Crow's thinking of next. If he's doing anything else. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there's a plan for another season or what. I have no idea. But this has been this has been a really cool thing to have, and we have an updated ranking. Finally, we can stop just bantering around the entire reason. So we wait. That's the updated ranking? It, Got a might be ahead. No, but it didn't change. I think I might have the wrong link. Oh shoot, did I? Have I had the wrong link this whole time? I thought this was staying up to date. Give me a sec. Let's see. Nope, apparently that's correct. Okay, well, that's... Oh, yeah, I see, that was actually a small change. Okay, but not not nearly enough. Still 500 point difference between the two. So, yeah, that is that. So, That congrats. is a large point difference. Got a run some. And he they, has they... won some tournaments. Hey, they, yeah, sure. it certainly has. So, so, congratulations to Gota for winning the Lobster Roll series, to Randy for second place, to Dregs for third place, in spite of major health issues, on account of having performed extremely well in the first few weeks, and Steel Blue, our eternal third place player, for getting fourth. It's not third! Also, thank you to... Thanks to... Thank you to Google Frog for helping co-casts for several of these weeks. Thanks to Crow so much for hosting this. As I was saying before, that has been really great. Like, it's been a great series. It's been fun to watch. It's get, gotten a lot of people in the game to play. It's been really helped me get back into the swing of casting regularly. And it's just been really cool to watch, despite, you know, it's, it's had its ups and downs. I mean, certainly the map, map rules have been, have had to go through some changes, but I think the current rule is good. And otherwise, the term has been run really smoothly. So I'm very happy with that. So great job to you, Crow. And thank thank you all of you for joining in week after week to play in the tournament because I know it's a high-pressure thing to play in tournaments like this. Trust me, I'm going to be playing in a tournament in a few hours for a different game, but it's like, that's a thing that is stressful. So I understand, but I, I appreciate you all coming back and going at it again and again. And, yeah, and it's cool when it's week to week. Week exactly. Week, you yeah. Sort of go, oh, that's one tournament. I'll just do the next one. Exactly, which makes it actually a lot easier to want to keep going. And lastly, of course, thank you to all of you for week after week for coming in and watching, because it just makes it so much more fun when I have people who are watching and enjoys and who enjoy watching the games and all that. But that is going to be it for me tonight. So once again, I'm Dominic or Shadowfear, whichever you prefer. Google Frog is on co-commentary. We thank you again for watching, and have a good night. Good night.